Today's best music. Magic 89.9. How, how would you protect yourself? What, would, what advice would you give to those who are, you know, just grabbing anything left and right just because they're trying to establish themselves to the point that they're probably taken advantage of, advantage of by regardless of companies or brands or whatever. Go back to that time when you were beginning how do you maintain that authenticity and protect yourself from people who are like that? I or guess brands who are like that. When you're starting out, you can't be too picky with the brands you choose. But if it's really like a brand that you love doing or you'd love mm. to work with, then then go for it. But but you gotta know your limits. You gotta know like when to say no and when to like stand up for yourself because once the brand knows that you're easily um swayed with all right. the freebies then they can, take, they can take advantage of yeah. you and right. i've gotten like um stories from my friends where they were really taken advantage of but mm. but yeah you just gotta stand your ground and know what you want and but uh, going back, if it's the brand that you really want to work with, then go for it. Because if it's good for your personal branding, and yeah, you know, just do it. Well, with the benefit of perspective now, when you look back, what would you? What advice would you give? When when you're a beginning content creator or influencer, you have zero rights whatsoever. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the truth. And everyone gets taken advantage of, and that's how you learn. Right. Um, Myself, anyone I've ever talked to, we've all had the experience. And uh, it's, you know, it's a part of doing business, you know. So um, how do you handle it? How do you navigate, though? When you don't have, when you don't have a right, what, what, how do you, you know, balance um, doing what you want and not being taken advantage of? You build your brand and you build your following big enough so that you can be able to command okay. and so that you you basically earn your own rights. That's how I did it. So I was doing brand deals. I remember in the beginning when I first started and it was great because it was the first time I was making money. But then you have to look at it like a long-term thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if I invest my time into making the video every single day and, and blowing up my fan base, um, rather than taking these small deals now, I will get a bigger, uh, a bigger project in the long run in the end and that one big project is worth like 10 or 20 small projects from what i'm doing when i'm first starting out so mm -hmm. so i again it's like business you look at it like an investment you invest Same. you're not making money you grow your business big enough so that then you can command um, a bigger revenue share of yeah you know, whatever project you're doing